When you visit Little Big Planet, you become your true and pure self. A cuddly, excitable adventurer called a sack person. And this is you. What a cracker! Use the left stick to move your sack person. A little tippy-tappy for a shuffle and a somewhat more substantial... Take a run and jump, why don't you? You do it by pressing the action button. A quick tap for hippity. Transporting oneself from the earthly plateau to the realm of Little Big Planet is akin to being born again. You emerge here a bundle of naked, woolly innocence. The operative word being naked. Put some clothes on that say, I mean business, buster. Get some gadabout trousers or an adventurer's hat, for example. To do so, bring up your poppet with the menu button and select the Customize Character option. From there, you can peruse its contents with the left stick and don your chosen attire with the action button. Once you are suitably suited and booted, having raided your boutique, a press of the back button shows off your new togs to your peers. If you live by the sea, that is. Have you noticed that sack personages, as they gad about the Imagosphere, all wear a poker face because they're concentrating on the task in hand? Well, it doesn't have to be like that all the time, you know. You can change your expressions using the directional buttons. It's easy. Press up to show us your winning smile. Down brings out a frown. Right brings out your cross face, whilst left makes you look scared. You can nod and shake your head by waving your controller around and even switch the control of your hips by clicking the left stick. Get a wiggle on, why don't you? As if that wasn't enough, try pressing the limb buttons and using the left stick and right stick. Look, you're waving. Yes, very good. I'm waving back. Really, I am. Honest. It's, it's, it's embarrassing now. Stop it. Now, I know you're eager to get stuck into all this, but please remember the ethos of the Imagosphere. Create and share and above all... Yes, 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 yes. Thanks for that, old man. I'll take it from here. Oh, what luck. There's my little chum-to-be ready to come and help me sort out Bunker. Just a simple press of this button and our adventure will begin. Ah, ah no. So, one on the left. No, but if, if I'm facing it, then that will be... Look. Oh. That's the fun.
Right, old chap. My name's Newton. Welcome to Bumpum Chummy Chum Chum, where the sky is strewn with circling clouds of imagination, all ceaselessly pumped into Bunkum's atmosphere by the pounding creative heart at its core, a magnificent moon of wonder. But, I'm afraid, Bunkum's destiny lies in our hands. Let me explain. Long ago, before the Negativitron nearly laid waste a craft world, three gluttonous gargoyles gorged on Buncombe's bountiful creativity. Inspiration dried up. We teetered on the brink of the abyss. And then three heroes came. With their speed, with their power, with their grace, finally managed to capture the Titans. With Buncombe restored to the creative paradise you see around you, the heroes retired to the pages of myth. A myth that also foretells of the return of the Titans. Tonight, just before bedtime, all of Buncombe's nightmares become real. And that's where I I mean, we come in. Join me, my noble assistant. Buncombe's very future depends on we two brave heroes. Let's get down off this mountain. I've got a prezi for you. Oh, how I love the mountain air. It's just so... airy. Press up and down on the left stick to move in and out of the screen. Hold down on the left stick and press the action button to jump down a step. If you jump in front of a step, you'll automatically shift backwards onto it. Never tell you about the time I got stuck in a hat. I did? Well, it's a true story and still relevant today, as the danger of getting stuck in Little Big Planet is as real as it ever was. If you find yourself in an impassable crevice or an insurmountable rut, your poppet holds the key to your salvation. Open it with your menu button and highlight the retry option using your left stick. Then simply hold the action button until your little stitched chum pops himself senseless. Don't worry, he'll be back in a jiffy, spat out of that last checkpoint you ran past. Layer launchers spring you from front to back and back to front. That's it. Bounce in and out like a, like a, um, uh, uh, bouncing in and out thing. Excellent work. Your bounding nose, no bow. Use the action button to trigger blue layer launchers. Use the grab button to climb along a climbable surface. You can still jump while you're climbing. Just press the action button. Wonderful work. I knew you could do it. Right. Good work. Let's go. Use the grab button to take hold of spongy bits and the left stick to drag them about. button while dragging or pushing to give yourself a little oomph. Oh, yes, good work. We are amazing. 
Grab that old dangly thing and use the left stick to swing it. Now, we must retire to my airship to prepare for your, uh, I mean, our death-defying mission. Welcome to my airborne laboratory. My father made it, of course, but I made some refinements of my own. Look at us, co-conspirators, primed for our first top-secret mission briefing. Here, take this sticker. That is our first target, a loathsome locale called Stitcher Manor. Stick it up on the mission board. In the real world, slapping stickers on anything and everything is frowned upon. Right Within those so. walls looks a cranky a... old bag named Nana Pud. Put her face up there if you can stomach it. Gruesome. But we must brave her horrors and make our way up onto the roof. One last sticker. Place it down there, if you would. That is our true goal. The tin that houses the evil titans. We must reach it before Nana Pud releases them. The old bag. Fortunately, I've handcrafted something for just this occasion. Going down. Imagination made mechanical. Handheld inspiration. It sucks. It blows. It is the Pumpinator. This was working yesterday. Now, just pick it up and I can show you how useful it is. You can't have too many pockets. Such an amazing device. Oh, if only Daddy were here to witness it. You can aim it in different directions using the right stick. Point it at that pinwheel and press the R1 button to blow it into motion. Now try giving those boxes a blow. The Pumpinator is bloody marvellous, isn't it? Oh, jolly good. To the control room. Wow. 